Hi, welcome to this video series on application mobility with VMware NSX. My name is Puneet Chavla. I'm a senior technologist at VMware. In this scenario, we have a customer looking to deploy application in multiple locations. Not only the applications within a single data center on different hosts, but also across the data center. Now, VMware NSX, which is software-defined networking, SDN solutions, provide an overlay network and firewall without installing any hardware appliances. This means you could deploy a router, load balancer, or advanced firewall without buying any physical hardware, router, or firewall. So how does it work? All NSX networking and security constructs router, load balancer, firewall, deploy as a distributed software directly on the hypervisor. Now being completely in software, NSX do not have any dependencies on any hardware appliances, including the top of the rack vendors. NSX is also agent free and no required to deploy any software agents directly on the workloads. And both NSX components networking, represented here by router, and security, represented here with distributed firewall, are independent of each other. So let's start with simplified mobility. In this example, our customer is looking to deploy networking where all the applications can connect with each other and they can deploy NSX overlay not only between this data center but also typically represented as uh, three tier segments across the uh, data centers. So this is a distributed layer, L2 to L3, which means that virtual machines running in each location can seamlessly talk with each other. So let's draw a little bit more VMs for our app layer. And also web layer. Now, VMware NSX provides the overlay for this network and also creates the networking to enable virtual machine migration. These VM uh, migration are seamless, do not require any network change or IP, re-IP addressing or uh, changing the MAC addresses. So this is great, but what about security. As the virtual machines move from one location to another, we need the security to stay with those workloads. And NSX Unified Policy provides just that. From NSX Management Layer, we can deploy global security policies, represented as GP, within our distributed firewall, DFW. And with a click of a button, we can realize these security policies in all the different locations at once. We are also able to deploy local policies. These are more granular policies for a particular data center or her site. And as the virtual machine moves, the firewall policies stays with it. Combining of this networking and security policy, um, we can also do DFW 
microsegmentation. As you can see, these networks are very flat. We want to make sure um, the east-west communication of these VMs stays um, within uh, their own layer, so we can create our DFW microseg. Uh, through the NSX. Now, combining both uh, brings uh, low business risks for our customer. Let's write that down. As there is minimal to no downtime uh, when these VM migrations are happening, and it also enables a lot of other use cases to save time and money for customers, uh, use cases like disaster recovery. Um, and NSX supports both active-active uh, and active standby architecture for DR. We also have uh, data center uh, pooling as a use case and MNA. And this is for both either extending or collapsing of data centers and evacuation or extension to cloud. In the following videos, we'll talk in more depth about these use cases. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.